Hey, what's up, everybody? So just finished the uh, Sunday sleds. We call it the outside stuff, right? Uh, the concept that I wanted to go over today is work out with intention. So what that means is I find that the fitness industry has really kind of moved towards sweating or suffering more and not really learning or getting better at anything, you know? So Everything's about high intensity or, you know, uh, tough workouts. And that's what really people care about. It's like, oh my gosh, that workout was really tough or that was really difficult. It seems that people are looking for more and more suffering, more sweating, higher heart rate, um, those type of indicators. But for us, uh, we're trying to improve. We're trying to improve our skills. So there's a mastery component to it. Um, We're trying to improve our mechanics. So... We feel better. We learn how to fix our own bodies. So if something's not working, that's what our goal is. So the popularity of like odd objects and strongman stuff uh, was probably introduced, I don't know, three to five years ago within the fitness space and it's become more and more popular. And we used to do it too. We used to see uh, people do a lot more sandbag work. And then so we integrated that a lot more sled work. But like everything else, we tested the concept in integrating it and seeing what the benefits are. So if you just start doing a lot more sandbag work, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the benefits you were looking for. So for example, a lot of people carry that sandbag and their toes are ducked out, that the feet are ducked out, and they're kind of waddling all the weights in the lower back uh, in erectors. So does that strengthen your back or make it worse? Does that fix your walking or running posture or does it make it worse? Uh, so our goal is to work out or move with and train with the intent of fixing or improving something. So it's today I, I had that idea where everyone that comes in on Sunday, we're trying to walk you know up to a mile. People would just do laps, but everyone comes in and does their own thing. So I don't tell them what to do. So I'm going to have clips of them doing, uh, kind of interviewing them or asking what they're doing, their intent. So everyone had a different purpose. They're either fixing something or they're trying to improve uh, posture for like a front squat or deadlift or trying to come back from a back injury. So something to think about when you're working out, what we found is I don't want people to learn, like make the same mistakes I did where let's say you work out really hard for a year or two. And you're just pushing the intensity piece. Yes, you might get a little bit more fit, uh, and that's and those type of benefits. But after a couple of years, did you get better? Did you fix any of your mechanics? Uh, are you improving the skills that you want to learn? So those are kind of good questions to ask. So again, don't follow blindly. Make sure everything you're doing, every exercise or training tool that you implement or exercise that you implement, you're getting the benefits that you originally wanted or what that exercise usually promises. So if you do a lot of sled work, walking backwards a lot, it's a big deal in the fitness industry now. Walk backwards, walk backwards with a sled. Again, what are you focusing on? What muscles are you trying to fix? What muscles are you even telling your body to use? Because if you walk backwards for miles on end, like what they're telling you to do, you might you're probably just making your imbalances worse. You're using the outside hip. You're put using more hip flexor. Your feet are collapsing. Now you're just putting more volume, uh, making those things, you're just making those imbalances worse. So you're just building your injuries faster. So today my intention was to uh, try to carry a heavy sandbag, the heavy, like to push past what I normally would carry. And so for that, I'm really rebuilding my back. I want to strengthen the core from its foundation. So I was really trying to fire my lat and pec. And then the weight of the sandbag is going to challenge my erectors and my back muscles. Rebuilding the core from a foundational standpoint. Also because of the weight so heavy, it's constant pressure. I have to learn how to breathe through my diaphragm, which is a challenge for me. So all of those factors are what I'm look what I was looking for. The things that I realized by doing all that, my hamstrings, my inside hammies and glutes were on fire, which is also good because those are the things I wanted to target too. It just happened naturally. 
So check out the videos of uh, what everyone was working on. And if you guys have any questions, post it in the comments. What are you working on today? Barbarian. Yeah, but what are you focusing on fixing or working? Really? And I'm trying to really make sure I'm supporting, getting posture up. Okay. I'm holding these and that, and I'm trying to drive with my glutes. Glute and lat, here we go. Glute and lat, glute and lat. What are you trying to fix? Uh, I have a low back injury currently, so I'm trying to use the weight of the sled to help fire my glutes when I walk. And I'm going to be holding a med ball up high on my chest because I need to practice firing my pecs and my lats so that everything is stacked and my back stays out of the movement. So you don't like just lean forward like yeah, lazy. Yeah, trying to walk more postured. And not versus, just, yeah, yeah, versus this. Making it worse. There you go. No tension on the spine. Nope. Good, good, good. Chris, what are you working on, brother? Lats. Lats? Yeah, lats and glutes. Lats and glutes, common theme. What movement are you trying to fix or improve on? Specifically in the lats. For lats right. for like a deadlift or a bench or what? Front rack. Front rack position, hell yeah. Open up that T-spine. Now what are you working on? Breathing. <laughs> exactly. Diaphragm breathing. I'm gonna say everything wrong. <laughs> Walking, working on keeping my trap tight. <laughs> <Abs on. Yeah. laughs> We'd ask Andrea, but we'd have to censor all of the audio after that. Don't forget to posture even on the sled forward. Okay. Because then you can still fire the glute and hammy, but posture is the key for you. So. Yeah. Bob, what are you working on? Don't shoot. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> Let's go. So Bob's focus is dumb shit today. If you're expecting me to talk while well, I'm looking at this back, we're having a whole fucking conversation here. <laughs> so. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, see, we, we test things. Sometimes it's uh, not the smartest thing, but we learn by failing. Teenager, teenager, what are you working on today? Exactly what I expected. You're just trying to lift that too? You can get the little kettlebells, bud. Go ahead, Ty, let's go. Go. Yeah, oh, oh my goodness. Watch your toesies, buddy. That's pretty good. That was you deadlifted your body weight. Caleb, what are you focusing on? Why are you holding the rock? What are you what are you what are you working on? 